Good morning, welcome to Vlog 9. We're down at Miff's Pool in Stock. Um, Carp's Paradise, brand new day ticket lake that's opening up. I believe it's going to be the start of April, depending on whether the fishery is actually where he wants it to be. But to be honest with you, I can't blame him. It's an absolutely stunning place. Some of you might know, we came down here in the middle of February um, to film the session. Halfway through the session, we had a bit of trouble with the cameras. So what we ended up doing is actually aborting the filming. We carried on fishing, we didn't have anything. Um, but as I say, we rearranged to come back, got all the cameras sorted, and as I say now, we're back. Um, it's middle of March, 13th of March. Um, I'm actually joined by Wes. Wes is just setting up now. We'll have a chat with him later on. Um, but if you see shots that look like they're flicking back to a different session at a different time, then obviously some of the footage that I managed to save from the other session we will put into this one. Um, that means I can take you through the chat that I had with Mitch about the fishery, where it's going, what his plans are for it, what the stocks are. We was actually present on the stocking as well. We see nine fish going in February. Um, and I've got a little bit of filming of that as well, so we'll throw that in so you can see that. So you can see the sort of calibre of fish that he has stocked into the lake. Um, from memory, there's two 40s, um, 41.8 that actually come out the other, the other week um, to Elliot. Uh, well done mate, as I say, it's a cracking fish. Um, so yeah, there's two 40s, um, there's quite a few 30s, and there's some absolutely stunning upper 20s. Um, there's a couple of fully scales in here that they'll be anybody's trophies fish, anyone would be happy to have them. Um, so as I say, yeah, I'm joined by Wes. Um, we're just setting up now, getting ready. I have actually been baiting the swim as well for about two weeks now. Whether it's going to pay off or not is another story. Um, but I've just been coming down twice a week with a bucket of breadcrumb that's been liquidised, a um, couple of tins of sweet corn in it, and some nutcracker as well. Um, so I've baited two spots. My first spot, I'm going to put two rods on in front of me. Um, it's about 25, 30 yards out. There's a hump. It's about five foot wide. I'm fishing over the back of it. Um, it's, it's, it is hard and it is clear, um, but it's not as hard and rough as the bar. When you come up the bar, it's a real vicious bump on the marker, and you get to the top of the bar. It's about two foot, so you've got five and a half at the back, two foot on top, so it's quite a vicious up. Um, and my right hand rod's going on a margin spot, actually the same spot Elliot had the 41 off. Um, I was actually down the night before when he put the rod out, come to do some baiting, and he was actually here fishing. Um, as I say, I didn't put no bait in that night, but he fished the spot I was about to bait, and he took the 41. Fair play to him, mate. Absolutely cracking fish. Um, so as I say, yeah, I've got a spot off the margin. Again, it's about four and a half foot, four foot. It's a bit closer in amongst weed. There's a clear patch, hard spot. So we're going to put the right hand rod on that. Um, I believe Wes, Wes is going on chods with two rods out in the middle. And he's going to put one. He's just going to dot it about, roam it about with a little mesh bag. But as I say, we'll have a chat with Wes. We'll run through all the rigs that we're going to be using for the session. Um, but as I say, I'm absolutely buzzing to get going. Um, Pete, another shout to you mate, Deception, he came down fish Sunday to Wednesday after the show, they'd done a bit of filming with Seb, um, he had a cracking session, I think they had something like four or five fish to upper upper doubles, um, but he had some stunners, like I say, the, the fish in here, the stock in here that he's actually put in and hand picked himself, Mitch, Mitch has done a cracking job, um, and anyone that comes down here, like I say, he's, he's a credit to the sport with what he's done, um, opening this up in here. I mean, I know he's got a lot on his case with Grand Canaria and, and other lakes and venues that he's doing abroad, but for him to take the time out and open a lake over here for us to um, get a bit of sport on, and he, the way he's stocked it, the way he's going about it, he's going to be absolutely cracking fishery. Um, we've actually come down on a weekend where there's a work party, there's an offence going up around the lake, um, but as I say, we won't let that affect us, and it's, it's, it's musts, it has to be done. There's a reservoir, literally all of 30 yards across the road and it's a known a known reservoir that holds otters and you, with the fish in it you just can't take the risk so if you see a bit of work in the background that's what it is but like I say again it's just another credit to Mitch taking the time out to actually make it a safe environment for the fishing um, and protect the stock that he's got in here so we'll, we'll have a catch up with Mitch I think Mitch is popping down on the weekend at some point so I dare say we'll have a, have a little chat with him run through where he's been since the other session in February um, but as I say, I think this one's going to be quite a long vlog because we've got the two sessions sort of merged into one. Um, it was cold last time, it's a lot warmer this time. The pressure's still a bit higher, 10, 10 20s, 10 30s, but it's a lot warmer. It's been a lot warmer for two weeks and the fish are actually starting to move and come out now, so we should have a good go at it. So yeah, I'm going to um, crack on and get set up, get some rigs tied, because I've absolutely got nothing done where I've been cracking about with the old day sessions off the barra. <laughs> Um, Wes is setting up, as I say, we'll catch up with Wes, we'll run through what he's got to go. And um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit.
So, we're joined by Wes on Vlog 9. Nice one, Luke. Pleasure, mate, as always. So we're down at Miss Paul, just to take you through the reefs quickly before we get the rods out. My left hand rod that's going on the other side of that little bar that I mentioned to you this morning. Nothing fancy at all. Um, 14 mil nutcracker, size 4x curved deception angling, and that's on to a bit of dark matter braid, 20 pound, not the slot, nothing fancy. Little kicker at the top and a swivel. Fishing exactly the same distance on my middle rod to the same patch of bait. We've got a stiff hinge rig, so as you can see, a little tiny chod, bright yellow nutcracker pop up because they're uh, they're bang on the old yellow in here, mate. Yeah, mate, they like the yellow. Um, and that's on to some hybrid stiff, just to give me a stiff boom, a bit of putty and a kicker. And my right hand rod's exactly the same, but we're going on a pink with that one. Again, the hybrid stiff, just a stiff boom really to kick that out. It's only a 25, 30 yard chuck. You, Wes, you're um, yeah. rolling with the old chods? Yeah, the, the spot I found is, um, it's, it's a bit weedy, nothing major, but a little bit, little bit of onion weed, that's what it feels like. There is a clear patches in between it, but the roots I'm pulling back are only you know, I mean, six inches, seven inches. Yep. So yeah, I've, I've gone for a chod rig. Um, I'm going to change it. Most of it change. I might even change to a, one of those during the week. Uh, yeah. uh, during the weekend, rather, to see how we get on. But yeah, pretty simple, really. Exactly what you see, really, in, in Vlog 5, really. Um, but I've, I've upped the lead to a three ounce job. Um, I was only using one and a half before, but so, uh, the two of the rods are about 50, 60 yards, but one of the other rods, I must be reckoning about 80, yeah, easy. So, and casting fluorocarbon is, is a bit tricky anyway. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've got a milky toffee gooed up with the, uh, sorry, pop up there uh, with the almond goo. Um, but I've gone with a call to drop off this time. Unlike last time with the one and a half, I didn't mind that swinging around its mouth, but with a three ounce one, you know, it's a little bit much. Get rid of that lid. So yeah, you know what I mean? A little shake straight, straight off. off. Yeah, mate, so. Happy days, mate. That's that's pretty much how I want to go about doing it. And that's all three rods. That's all three rods for now. Yeah, I've had a little play around the island. It seems pretty clear in areas, but then you get in the weed, and, the it, and it seems a lot thicker over there. So I'm guessing where it's shallower. Yeah. Obviously, the sun hitting it is coming up a little bit. But I'm fish, I'm fishing at about six to eight foot over there. Yeah. Indeed. So two rods out in midwater. I've got one over by the island. They're all going to go on that, and then um, we'll we'll see how we get on. That. Yeah, we'll play about. Obviously, if you start getting pickups, so obviously hinge stiff rigs work over with, over here anyway. Mm. Like I said, it's, it's patchy weed. You, you get, you're feeling for a donk, you're getting it, but then you're getting then the you're odd weed. Into the weed. Yeah, yeah, you're pulling into it. Lucky enough, like I said, ain't open water. I haven't really got a lot there. Mm. It doesn't seem too thick, but the island, it's, it's getting a bit naughty over there. Yeah. So, but yeah, we'll, 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 get, we'll see how we get on. All right, son. So, it's uh, time to get the old rods out, I think, matey. Yeah, mate. Cup of tea first, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Been working at it since, what, seven o'clock now? Seven o'clock, mate, yep. So, yep. Try... pretty much where we want to be, aren't we? Yeah, where we want to be. Rods all sorted, all clipped. So, yeah. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll get the kettle on and we'll uh, get the rods out and hopefully we'll have a few fish to show you later on in the session.
Um, so what was your thoughts in opening up a lake back home? Yeah, basically, mate, it was like, you know, the joys of having that one out in Grand Canaria. Um, obviously, I went out there, fell into the right position, right place at the right time. And, you know, it's sort of come on in leaps and bounds now. We've been out there since last August and the bookings have been coming in. After obviously taking on that, I was, you know, offered a water over here in the UK and, you know, it was stupid to walk away from it. Even though at the time I was stretched, you know, I knew there was plenty of raw room for another venue on the portfolio. When I came over here, I just fell in love with it straight away. It's quite ornamental. It's not a very big water, it's only 2.7 acres, but like you say, it's in the art of Essex. It's where the carp angling's at and, you know, it's a beautiful little place. Fish stocks, there's quite a few numbers, isn't there, mate? Yeah, I mean, we've got about 60 in here now. Um, the biggest, well, two of the biggest, are just over the 42 pound. Um, they're backed up with seven different 30s and 45 or 20s. There's a few original doubles in here. Um, so, yeah, it's it's starting to come together as, you know, as you say. It's a prolific water, mate. Yeah, it's... It's going to be one for the future. It's early days yet, like I say, we're hoping to open it for March. But push come to shove, you know, I'm quite a perfectionist when it comes to the swims and stuff like that, and I want it to be a pretty little venue. It's got to be ready, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it's got to be ready. There's no point in rushing it, that's that's all I want to say. You know, it's I want it ready as I'm happy, and so when the anglers come on, they're all happy as well. Nice. Well, I, I can vouch for some pretty fish, mate, because. Uh, was lucky enough to see nine go yeah. in this morning. Yeah, he was, mate. Um, Lee was here, part of one of the stockings today. Uh, we had another nine fish introduced, um, up to 28 pounds a day, which came in. Uh, two of them being, well, absolute crackers of fully scaled. Stunning fish, mate. Absolutely. Um, a couple of nice commons were put in today, and like I say, a few other mirrors. But as the weeks are going on, as I'm working here, I'm doing bit by bit. We're still introducing the odd fish here and there as we can that was ordered before. And you know, we haven't just gone for one strain of fish, I've gone to a few different farmers, so hopefully, eventually, they breed on, and that's the future for Miff's Pole as well. Right, so we're coming up at four o'clock. We've had some mad liners on the left and the middle rod, uh, but we haven't had a take yet. Could be due to anything, could be the way the line's laying over the little plateau, could be fishing the area, grabbing on the breadcrumb that I'm putting out. But um, speaking to Mitch and a couple of lads that have had fish out of here, it is predominantly a night water. I've been baiting a spot on the inside margin, just off some reeds, uh, with a little bit of pellet. Again, the bread mush and the sweet corn and a nutcracker. Worst comes to worst, last ditch attempt. Keep the bait going in and then obviously if we haven't had anything, stick a rod down now. Spoke to Peter Deception who come over Wednesday. Um, well, he's here Sunday to Wednesday after the show. They had five fish, he's put Wes on some spots, Wes is actually trying to find them as we speak. Um, they're right over the other side, about two, two rod lengths off the other bank. Um, it's probably the deepest part of the lake, so he's trying to find that. Um, but as I say, yeah, I ain't getting too disheartened in the fact that we've had the liners but no takes. We'll redo the rods before the light goes, sit out the night. If we have a fish, the cameras will come on, you know the deal. If it's early in the morning, we sack it up, obviously wait for first light. Be a bit better for the filming. But, um, but yeah, it's been a lovely day, t-shirt weather all day long. So we'll, uh, we'll get the kettle on, start to prepare to get the rods ready, get them out, sit out the night, and I'll, um, I'll catch up with you in the morning if we don't have a fish.
there you go. I told you Wes was trying to clip up to the spot. He literally had the marker out, cast out to the marker. He just paid a bit of line off to do his clip up and the rod roared off in his hand. 14 pound of Miff's Paul Magic on the bank. Happy with that, son? Happy days, mate. Absolute stunners. A few leeches on them would have been held up from the winter, but it's a good sign that they're starting to move. So um, we'll get the photos done of this one, slip her back, and uh, I think you found a money spot, sir. There you go, Rod's going back, mate. First first fish on film, <laughs> on a four, four film blank. That's it. Had to happen yeah. soon, though, didn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, happy days. All right, until the next one, then. Pucker. There you go, fish number two. Wes strikes again. Same spot, same rig. 14 pound, Wes. That's it, mate. Double whammy. Double whammy, mate. Nice little limb for your troubles. That's it, mate. That is it. Only been in the water, what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, if that. Happy days, mate. Happy days. Well, I think there's plenty more to come, mate. As I say, it's an absolute crack. Or another miss, Paul. Wait till it gets a little bit bigger. That's it, mate. That That'd is be it. on the old it list, mate. But yeah, happy days. So we'll get the rods back out. About to lose the light, so yeah, quickly redo the rods, do the snaps. And have some dinner. And have some dinner, mate. The pasta's on the cook. We'll catch up with you in a bit then. Double whammy! <laughs> right, coming up to half six, seven o'clock now on the first night of Vlog 9. We just lost the light. But old Snipes has saved the day, mate. I'm happy for you, I really am. You uh, finally done the business on the old cameras. Yeah, mate, F finally broke me duck on the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice, it's nice. It's a good feeling, mate, and of all places to do it. Yeah, mate, this, this place is something else, isn't it? It you is, know, mate, it is. something else. 
he's spent well he's over here now doing it you yeah. know he's literally just left as we've literally just had dinner so yeah morning to tonight he's been here since eight o'clock this morning and you know what's the time now 20 to 7. Mm. Yeah, so he, he's just hard work, mate. Isn't yeah, it? mate, he's looked right, looks after it. Shame, really, that none of the big ones have come along yet, but I reckon they will, mate. Like you say, all them fishes you've had, they've had leeches on, haven't they? Mm. So they have been sitting up in through the winter and they're, they're just starting to move now. Um, you're doing a damage on the old milky toffees with the old almond goo, aren't you? So, yeah. a bit yeah. of eye tract, yeah, boy, well, so leakage. I'm hoping the, the free bait I've done them is good, you know, what I mean, it's done well. Hybrid, I've Put um, hemp oil over this, not a lot, just a little bit of just to glaze them. Just to glaze it. Left yeah. them a couple of hours, and then when I found a spot over there, obviously I didn't really be fishing that far. You know, you're looking at 90 yards now trying to cast fluorocarbon, but yeah, we can hit it. We're doing it, mate. We well, you're do doing it. it in style, mate. Two fish. Yeah. Well, since we sat, well, since we found that spot, there's two fish in what an yeah. hour and a half, an hour two and hours. Half, yeah, yeah. And we've been sitting in the, with the rods out on the day, well, well, yeah. I have. I've been fishing 50, 40 yards short. Mm. So. Well, I might, might sit the night out and, as I say, if nothing comes about, we'll have to look for some spots along that back bank because they definitely must be coming along that bank. Mm. Um, that's where they was all picking them off last weekend. And as I say, you've had two just from going over there within a couple of hours. So. Yeah, it seems like the, for some reason the margins mm. are playing, playing yeah. ball. It might be because that sees the least pressure. Um, a lot of people I know that have, have come here for the sessions for Mitch have all fished this bank. Yeah. So it might be a fact that there's not a lot of angling pressure over there to, to push them into the middle of the lake. Yeah, you know no, that's I mean? right, but that's right. That's something that a new fishery will it'll find its way and get into its own ways as it matures yeah. and, and anglers come on and go. And as soon as there's more lines like pinging around everywhere, you know, there's eight swims, so as soon as you've got eight people on here, they're going to be moving around a lot more. At yeah. the minute, they, you know, I'm fishing two more lengths off the back bank. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you could would quite you be confident that doing that here, or would you? From the other side, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You think, wouldn't sit there and, and fish would, two rod lengths out, would nah, you? So are we missing a trick this side, or? Oh, I don't know, mate. You I never know. know, mate. It's so, a myth, isn't it? It's yeah, a myth. yeah. It's a myth. It's, <laughs> it's a myth. one big myth. So, but no, no. Pack a place. Pack a place. I've still got another. Well, 36 hours, say. Yeah, mate. So, yeah, yeah 12 yeah. o'clock Sunday. So. so yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, mate. Yeah, get a tomorrow, full day yeah. at it. But yeah, as I say. We're going to get the kettle on now. We just had our dinner. Bit of old pasta and meatballs, mate. Went down a tree. Lovely, mate. Yeah, pucker. I was actually chefing it up while he was playing the second fish, so that's why the shot was a bit distant. <laughs> so I had the meatballs on the go, the camera on the go, the kettle on the go. It was a bit, bit hit and miss. But Action we, stations. We do it, mate. Yeah, we do it. We do it all 100%, don't we? Yeah. But, if you're going to um, do it, you're going to do it, aren't you? Yeah, that's it, mate. All right, kettle time. If we have one through the night, as I say, we'll catch you on the cameras. If not, we'll have a little chat in the morning. See you later on.
coming up to the second night on Myths. Um, it's our last night. Uh, pretty uneventful day, really. We uh, cut the liners, but no fish shown. And they got the yacht fence done with as much of, of the fencing as they had. They've still got some more to do, but they ran out of fencing. But the lads done well today. Good job, everyone mucked in. Um, but that's a cold wind, mate, isn't it? It's a cold wind. Yeah, mate, cold northwesterly. Been like it since. What, last night? Last night, mate, yeah. Last night. Change, mate. Yeah, yeah. mate, it's, it's blitz. I think that's what switched them off. But, like, the two fish I just the, the wind had just started, but it was still still warm. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's been it's been cold today. Front's back on the brollies. Yeah, mate, it's just, but, yeah, mate, it's, yeah, it was cold last night. You know, it's going to get cold tonight. I think it's, it's saying five degrees. Feels like one. So, yeah, mate, it's going to be blitz. It's going to be a cold one, yeah. mate. Yeah. But um, you dropped your rod shorter, mate. You've gone from about 85 yards to about 50 now. Yeah, mate, yeah. Uh, I started getting loads of liners today. Like fierce liners pulling the bobbin right up. So, yeah, I dropped two rods short, about 50, 60 yards, and I put one out long. So, yeah, we'll edge see. Edge bets, mate, edge yeah, bets. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, um, we'll crack on. And if we get one through the night, then obviously, you know, the deal, the cameras come on. If not, we'll have a little catch up in the morning. But we're about to lose the light. All the rods are on the spot, so we're going to get the dinner on now. And um, hopefully we'll see you in a bit. There we go, wrapping it up on this pole on the last morning. Another uneventful night, Wes. Yeah, mate, another one. But um, as I say, we've had two fish out on the first night, so that sort of took the pressure off. Um, as I say, mate, it's just one of them lakes that you want to come back to, get, get your rods in the water and, and get back on them, mate. I think it's still settling down, it's early days, so. Yeah, mate, he's, he's, he's stocked new fish in there. You know, they're going to take time to get on with the other ones. Yeah. The weather hasn't helped, you know, like we said earlier on in the video, you know what I mean? It was pucker on Friday mm. and it's just gone. Gone sour from there, really. Sour, mate. Yeah, it's, yeah. Been, it's been a bit cold, but um, as I say, we're uh, we won't be put off by it, mate. We'll be back again. But um, next one is Daniel Dineshi. Uh, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, it's not till July, but we're down Farlow's for a little um, Vlog 10 special to wrap up the series. So, uh, thanks to everyone that's come along and been on the series. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Shouts to Wes for doing the business today, matey. No worries, mate. Anytime. But, um, but yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon.